Arkan. Hi, can I have your name and uh, what film you've made for the Venice Film Festival? Uh, my name is Emil Arkan. Our the name of our film is uh, Frenzy. Uh -huh. And uh, why is it called Frenzy? Uh, because it tells a story of two brothers uh, which is driven into a kind of madness uh, by the political conditions, we can say. Current or it's uh, past? Uh, it's not definite in the film. Uh, we didn't refer, we refer to any time uh, period. It can be in the past, it can be in the future. Uh, but the atmosphere is a little bit apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic, we can say. So you can uh, interpret it freely. Maybe it's in the future, maybe it's now, maybe it's in the past. And it's a very hot potato now, because yeah, exactly. uh, the whole Middle East, Europe, is yes. in a political turmoil. Yeah. Actually, if you, had, <laughs> if you had asked this question three months ago, uh, maybe I, I, I would say that this is, more, this is more related with the past. Uh -huh. But uh, in the last two months, you know, the ceasefire between uh, PKK and the Turkish government has stopped. And, uh, in Turkey, now we also find we found ourselves in a political turmoil again. So the film is about now. Uh -huh. we can say. And what uh, motivated you to make this great film? Because there's been a lot of great reviews, a lot of people talking about it. What was your Thank motivation? You. Uh, especially the, the, the political atmosphere, maybe, which I grew up. I can say uh, the politics of '90s. Where the the, 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 the the clash between the armed groups and the state was in a kind of climax in the 90s, which in, in those years I was a student, you know, a student. Uh, probably I was mostly influenced by this by this environment. But of course, the we, we are, the, the film is not directly political. We are trying to tell the story of two brothers. It's, it's an artistic. Yes, there are personal stories. Uh, and I'm always interested in personal stories. Uh, I just tried to put two personal stories uh, in a political environment and try to put them uh, in interaction. And any film directors in an artistic way that influence your own career? When you make movies like this, uh, Turkish course. or international or European, American, is yeah. there any, any names that you uh, admire? Of course, many directors from Turkey, uh, Yilmaz Güney, uh, Nurbi Geceylan, Zeki Demetobos. Uh, from the world, I admire Visconti, Stanley Kubrick, Fassbinder. Maybe you cannot easily uh, trace the effects of these people in my film, but I think I'm influenced by these people, Polanski. And when you make these sort of films, uh, you've got a lot of support from the Turkish uh, film industry. Do you have any fear when you make these films or you just liberate yourself? Because it's some, some films can be political dynamite. I mean, it happens in every country. Uh -huh. Some countries ban films. I mean, do, do you no, feel no, that no. restriction? Yeah, no, no. Uh, in Turkey, we are not in that uh, Position. I mean, uh, of course, I cannot say we are completely free, but the, the pressures are more indirect. Uh -huh. how, how, it the, is, how are they? It is very rare that a uh, film uh, is banned nowadays in Turkey. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't have such a fear. And uh, you, what sort of reception do you think this will receive in, in Turkey? Uh, I hope I hope it will be liked. Uh -huh. But uh, in this, this kind of Films could not reach so many audiences. Uh -huh. That's the problem. I mean, we call it art house art cinema. House. Although uh, our film is not strictly an art house film, uh, we have s certain limitations uh, uh, to reach the audiences. Generally, uh, box offices are, offices are occupied by comedies, uh, by love stories, uh, and but people. See film through different mediums. I mean, in Australia, there's a very large Turkish population, yeah. enormous, mm -hmm. and there's also a very large film and art house market, yeah. and there's a lot of small yeah. cinemas that are buoyant with this sort of film, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it would do well there because that's the other side of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Huge right. Turkish population in uh, <laughs> Melbourne and Sydney. But the, the, the problem is, uh, people now generally don't prefer to see the films in theaters. Uh -huh. More on more, iPad? More iPad uh, from internet, downloading torrents. Uh, so this pirate industry 
But that sells the film. That sells the film on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not so unhappy because of this because people see the films. But of course, it creates a problem of funding. Funding, yeah. Do you think this will be uh, released on iPad and go on? You know, it will be on the iPad soon. Yeah, probably. It's a commercial success if you go on the iPad. Everyone's downloading, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Can I get a picture uh, with, with you? We get a picture. Uh, thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs>